Hello my planner friend, Ashley here. In this video I'm going to be getting my planner set up and ready to go for the month of December. This is my goals planner. It is a planner from the Happy Planner. I have all sorts of different things in here so we're going to be getting the monthly pages set up. I've got some pages and different sections to take out. We're going to add some new things in but first we are going to start with decorating the monthly, monthly um, section here and I went ahead and I pulled some stickers out and I put them on these pre-planning guides that I have. So I pulled those out and I have those ready to go. Now the sticker books, I got those from, are the new, wait a minute, is this the new winter one? This is the winter sticker book from last year. The Christmas Joy sticker book. I used the Mega Seasonal sticker book. I pulled some from Colorful Boxes. This is a seasonal book that came out last year, I do believe, and then this is the winter sticker book that came out this year. So those are the sticker books I'm using. We'll go ahead and take these pages out. This is a dashboard planner and I use this section for social media. And I am honestly terrible at using the monthly pages which needs to change because they would be so helpful if I would actually use them. I love decorating them and getting them all set up and ready to go. I just need to get into the habit of actually looking at the monthly pages and using them. Um, something else I went ahead and did, I have some uh, cardstock that I picked up at Hobby Lobby, some Buffalo Check cardstock, and I cut out different sized trees and we're gonna use the little trees to decorate with. So I have those and I also have some washi tape that's from the Happy Planner and we're gonna use those as well. All right, I'm gonna start with the trees first. I'm not gonna glue them down yet. I just wanna stick them here and see what I'm working with. I may have cut them a little bit too big. Hold up, I am on my way, I'm in motion. Oh yeah, that feller is way too big. So let's cut this down some. Let's go to the ocean. Let's go outside. We can hang out on the beach without freezing. Is anybody else like terrible at cutting straight? I cannot do it. Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times, we'll be chilling and having a good, good time. Okay, so I'm gonna use some double-sided tape. This is Tombow double-sided adhesive tape. I'm gonna use that to adhere these down. Santa's coming to visit. No, he wouldn't miss this in Christmas times. Oh, and the sun said it is just get better on a blanket with the skyline painted in blue. Ooh, yeah, that's what we do. We'll be chilling and having a good, good time. I did cut some other ones, but I'm thinking these are way too big. They might not be. Might be able to stick them somewhere. But I also cut down a bunch of little ones. I'm not sure if I will use them or not, but we might. These would definitely fit better, wouldn't they? <laughs> so I'm gonna keep these over here to the side and I might end up sticking those down. But first, I'm gonna take the washi, and for the black and white buffalo check, I'm gonna use this, and for the red, I'm gonna use this. Christmas. 
We're gonna dance. We're gonna okay. dance, 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 dance. Come on. I'm wondering if I should double up on this. We're gonna dance, dance, dance. Have a good time. Dance, dance, dance. All night long. We're gonna dance, dance, dance. And have a that does look a little better. Okay, there's the little trees in the washi. This one's not cut right. And then from there, from my stickers, I have this one that says, Hello Winter. And this, on the 21st, 21st of December, it says, Winter Begins. So I'm gonna take some white out. We're gonna cover that up. And we'll put this sticker there. And then I have a Christmas and Christmas Eve sticker, so we'll go ahead and put those down. Okay, I'm gonna cut off the mistletoe that's on this sticker. Okay, now let's see. I made the tree too big. I was thinking I could put this like right above it. Let's go for it right there. That's fine. That looks cute. Okay, so there's that. I know that December the 1st, we have something going on. So I'm gonna put this little star sticker there. And then December the 15th is my dad's birthday. So we are gonna do these little, I'm gonna do, I was gonna put a red star, but I kinda wanted the red star on this side so it was had some balance. So we'll just do the presents. Like that. This sticker's cute. It says, tis the season to be freezing. And I was going to put this one here that says notes. Whoops. Up here. So I don't want another green one there. So we'll put this green one over there, but I'll use the red one over here. Coffee and Christmas music. Favorite sticker. I don't think we're doing anything on Monday the 7th, so we're going to go with it. If so. Well, this isn't my catch-all planner, so that doesn't matter. This is for social media. And I still don't have a consistent YouTube schedule. Sorry, guys. So, I'm thinking that... Um, I can post videos twice a week on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I think that would be the best schedule for me and then occasionally pop one in on Sundays. So as long as I don't put it on Tuesday or Thursday, I think we'll be okay. So let's do this one. Oh, we don't do that in the same row. We'll do it on the 23rd. I don't write, this is mainly where I put um, my team calls so I am a health and fitness coach and I put my team calls stuff inside of here and then I also put YouTube stuff inside of here I don't put Instagram stuff that's a week by week basis kind of on what I'm doing there and that goes in to my weekly pages which my YouTube does go into weekly pages too but I don't put it here on the monthly so we're gonna take this star and we'll put it here Saturday I don't know what it's for but we'll find something to write in there and then I have these little flag stickers that came out of that colorful boxes. And I'm gonna put those down for Tuesdays and Thursdays. That way whenever I figure out what my YouTube videos are gonna be, it'll be ready to go. And I won't put one down for this one because that's my dad's birthday. 
which normally I wouldn't put birthdays inside of here, but I'm also trying to fill this up some, so I'm okay with that. Normally birthdays go inside of my catch-all planner, but that's okay. Will I do one on Christmas Eve? Probably not. We'll put one there. I might rearrange it that week. So we'll just leave it for now. And then there's that one. So that can be for YouTube videos. And then I have these little alarm clocks. And I'm gonna use those for my team calls on Mondays, which I won't put one there, but we'll do it here. And here, and I should have thought about sticker placement a little better because I forgot about team calls. Um, that's okay. I know that they're happening, so I won't stick them in there. I do have some cute little coffee cups that I want to use. This one says Merry and Bright, and I want to use it. We're going to put this little coffee mug there. We'll take this one. We'll put it here. I'm just kind of decorating at this point. Normally I sit down and I like to pre-plan things so I know what's going on, but I didn't do that this time, which is not like me, but that's okay. We're going to use this little green sticker. It says meeting and I'll kind of have that on Monday. So that'll work for that. And then I have some more decorative stickers. We're just going to stick this little guy there. Oh, I need one of those flag stickers for down here. So there's that. I'm gonna take this one. It's um, It says, tis the season to sparkle. There went my dryer if you heard it buzzing. Put that one there. I have some of these little ornaments and we're just gonna stick those on here for little decor pieces. Like so, and then for the little Christmas trees that I cut out. I don't know for sure if I wanna use them or not. Just to kind of decorate with. I definitely think we need some more. Hmm. I'm gonna wait on those cause I'm not for sure yet. So we're just gonna set those off to the side and then I'm not gonna use these ones that I cut out cause these are just too big. So we're gonna wait on the rest of those. I don't know for sure if I'm gonna stick those down but for the monthly, I think this is gonna be good. I do have a couple of these little mugs. So let's just stick those down cause those are really cute. And I will need another one of these flag stickers for Thursday up here. Here we go. Okay, so I think, well, let's do this one. Hold on. I have this other cute little coffee mug that matches that one. And we're gonna stick it right there. Okay, that's gonna be it for decorating this. So we'll set this stuff out of the way and Oh, grab my planner. Put this back in here. Okay, so there's that. Now here's what I'm changing. We have, I'm gonna leave this goal section up there. I think I wanna use that for 2021, so I'm just gonna leave it in here. This was my November health and fitness section, which is, pretty much obsolete. I did not do it. So I need to keep this out though. So we're going to take that whole section out of there. Set it to the side. This will be for December. 
for my health and fitness section. I like to create my own spreads whenever I actually stick to my goals. Uh, so anyways, I'm going to keep that there and I will pull, let's go ahead and grab it. I'm going to pull some of the dot grid paper because that's what I use to create my health and fitness spreads. So we'll pull this and I'm going to go ahead and stick it up here so I have it and it's ready to go. And then I also, let's do it this way, hold on. I like to take double-sided tape. We're gonna stick one of these dot grids down to this because this will be the divider for December and then I can make my weekly spreads from there. So we'll adhere these together. Okay, there's that, and then now I'll stick the divider back in there, the dashboard, whatever it's called. I call it both names. <laughs> We're going to stick that there. Now this one, I didn't end up using this at all. I had good intentions with it, but it just didn't work out. This was like a daily thing I was going to do, so we're going to take that out of there. Set it over here, and this one is... Where's my hourly? Did I not have that in here? Or did I already take it out? Maybe I took it out already. I must have. Okay. So in between my fitness planner and my social media planner, I'm going to take this extension pack. This is um, the goals extension pack from the happy planner and I'm going to stick it in here. Now this one has, well, let me stick it in then I'll show you. So this one has a monthly section here, which I don't know for sure if I'm going to use it yet or not. It has this cool little section, which is a place for you to set goals, have your top priority list, and then it goes on to a checklist for tasks that you need to do for your goals, and it has a section for due dates. And then we have the weekly pages, and the weekly pages are hourly, which is what I was using before. I think I already took it out and put it up, but I have the hourly pages here, and I need to get back into block scheduling my day because that makes the biggest difference with my productivity and actually moving forward towards my goals. Block scheduling and having a morning routine, those are big things for me. After the week is over, you have things to follow up on and a weekly focus for the next week, and then it repeats itself from there. And then at the end of it, it's got a notes section. And then you also have upcoming projects. So you can put project information there. So I really like that. So here is where I'm gonna stick this divider. Now I had another section back here for a training thing that I was doing and I ended up stopping it because I didn't like it. So we're going to take, hold on, we just got too much paper here. We're going to take this section out. And this was the divider I was using for that. So that section's out of there. So the next thing we are going to do is set up my fitness planner as far as creating a spread. And to do the fitness spread, I'm going to keep it really simple this week. So we are going to take the sheets and if memory serves me correctly, which it probably does not. I think across the bottom up until like here somewhere, there's like 38 or 39. I think it's 38, 38 dots across. And I'm thinking from top to bottom, it's like, it was 54, 52, 54. So we're going to kind of eyeball this, go off of those numbers and split them in half, and then I'll make the lines. So if there's 30, Eight or 39 here it'll be 19 or 20 um, so we're gonna go 19 over and I'll kind of eyeball it from there and see if it looks like it's even I'll show you what I mean so that would be about 19 if we're going to that I think it needs to go over to here that's what I mean by eyeballing it because I don't remember exactly how many is across there so that looks like it's about even. 
And then if there's, let's say there's 54, I'm gonna go with the lower number because I don't remember for sure, but let's say there's 54, that's what, 27? So we're gonna count up to 27, that's where I'm gonna put my line for this one. That's where that one would go. Does that look about even? I think it does. Maybe it needs to go up one more. So it must be a little bit off on my numbers. That looks even. Okay, so from there, we're gonna take this one and do the same thing. Okay, now I'm gonna take a pen and my ruler and we're just gonna make lines on this and keep it really simple for this week. I don't wanna do anything too complicated. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's go outside. We can hang out on the beach without freezing. Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times, we'll be chilling and having a good, good time. Okay, so here's how I'm gonna do this. I will have, it'll it'll be, hold on here, sorry. It's gonna be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then I'm gonna have my workouts over here. So we'll stick that there. I'm not gonna decorate it right now because I really don't know how I wanna decorate it or if I even want to decorate it. My main goal is uh, to get back on track and I wanted to have a lot of room this week for journaling and kind of tracking my my um, my mindset of it because it's really just a mindset thing. If you take out all of the all of the fluff that we add to it, losing weight is really just you got to exercise, you got to eat right, you got to drink your water, you got to get enough sleep, and you got to have a good positive mindset. And if we take out all the extra stuff, that's all that it is. My mindset is what has been the problem, and so that's what I really want to focus on this week. It's journaling, writing stuff down in that kind of area so I can see like what's going on. And I wanna make a, be able to write out like if I'm making excuses, what those excuses are. So then I can look at them and say, okay, this is the excuse that I have. Why am I letting that stop me from reaching my goals? If that makes sense. So I'm kinda, kinda debating here on whether or not I want to decorate it. I might just leave it plain and write like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and so on, and then potentially write workouts over here and then just go from there for the week. But for now, we're gonna leave it and that is going to be my planner setup. These are some pages that I had up here because I was setting some goals and creating a meal plan and stuff. So I'm gonna leave those up here, but first I'm gonna show you a flip through of everything that we just did. So we, when we first open it up, we have sticky notes. We got my name page. This is a goal section that I created a long time ago and I'm actually gonna leave it in here because I really wanna use this for 2021. So that's the goal section. This will be like a vision board. And then here's where we go into my health and fitness planner. This will be where I track nutrition, water, workouts, mindset, like I talked about. So that'll be the first week of December will be ready to go. This will be my hourly planner. This is where I will plan out my stuff every single day and I block schedule my day. I'll have to-do lists and stuff inside of here for goals. And I'm really gonna focus on diving into this one every single morning. That way I can see how my days, um, that way I can plan my days actually, not see how they go. We're not gonna see how my days go. That's not been working for me. We're gonna plan my days and block schedule and time to make sure that I am reaching my goals. So that'll be, this will be like a really big planner for me, this section is. And then if we flip from there, this was November that I'm currently on inside of my dashboard planner. This is the final week that we're finishing up right now. And then we'll go into December, which we decorated December's monthly. So that's all ready to go. This will be December's weekly pages. And then here is where I have some completed sheets that I've done, like a joy list, a birthday list and stuff, defining happiness and old block schedule just some different sheets that I've already completed. And then this section back here has blank pages, except for something I was writing down here. So then we have 
more blank pages that I like to use. Mainly the dot grid ones are for health and fitness stuff, so that's there. And then I also have a pocket folder back here, which I really have not been using. But that is going to be my planner setup for December inside of my goals planner. I also have a mini planner, but I'm really not changing much in it. So um, I just wanted to show you guys what I was changing inside of here. And then from here, we'll see what if this is working, if this little setup is gonna work for me. This right here is just the main thing that I changed was this section. I still have a health and fitness planner and my social media planner back here, but this was a big section that's changing that I hope will spark some excitement for me to block schedule my day again and get back into that habit because that's that's a game-changing habit for me. So that, that's kind of the changes that I'm making for December and towards the middle end of December, somewhere in there, I'll kind of evaluate and see if it's working and then get my planner set up for January. So if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Thank you so, so much for watching my videos. I hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next one.